All right, what's up, guys? Uh, today we have decided to start the trapping grind. Um, today we're gonna be setting some just the old basic foot holes. Uh, we're gonna set mostly coon traps, and then we're deciding out a few coyote traps. Uh, today we're gonna be using for bait is like just a regular old marshmallows. Uh, some lures we got: gusto, skunk musk, yodel dog and just some regular little shellfish oil. Uh, when we get out there, we'll probably take you through the basics of you know, what we're doing, what we, what we like to do, um, our setups, and then I'll uh, take you through a tutorial on like, how to set them and stuff, so we'll meet you up. Okay, so we made a, it's a multi-species set here. It's just a little dirt hole set. We put the bait in the hole, set the trap, and hopefully we get something in here in the morning. We're gonna set a couple more of these today. A bunch of dirt hole sets, some dog proofs. The camera batteries are in a little low, so we'll probably keep you updated tomorrow on if we got anything, but we'll get after. We just put this dog proof set right here. We got a heavy trail going from the creek here up right past the dog proof. We put some a little mix of a blend we had down by the trigger, the marshmallow on top with some shell, shellfish oil. Should be money.
All right, guys, we just got our package from F&T for harvesting trading post. Uh, some, some of the stuff we got is, first of all, we got a catalog. Take a look at that later. Um, we got some cow urine, pints of it. So we start sprinkling some of that on there. Uh, some of the baits that we've you've been using haven't really been doing the job. And our main goal this year is to get a coyote in one of them. Uh, so we're going to try some new baits. So we're going to start off with the Hellfire lure, um, cow urine, and what else we got here? We got the Hawbakers coyote and fox bait. And oh, we got some sheep's wool for the high attractant. So. And then I think we have one more thing in here. Um, oh yeah, the Milligan brand fox and coyote chunk bait. So hopefully these bra these baits bring them in. Because like, like I said again, coyotes haven't been really hitting the stuff that we've had. So hopefully this gets them good and we'll check them in the morning and reset our trap. Alright, so for 2020, this is our first Bobcat set that we're getting on camera. We have one over there. Um, we found a hollowed out log while we are making that one over there. And we picked up some dead pheasants from one of our buddies. He has a pheasant farm, so once we found that hollow log, we're like, this is a perfect opportunity to make one of these sets here. So um, we shoved the pheasant in there. We're going to throw some hellfire just above where the, the log's at the face of it and see if we'll have something in the morning. So. Alright guys, a little bit of a recap here. Um, so we have gotten four coons down this year in all skin. Uh, one we ended up catching, it was in pretty rough shape so we didn't even take the time to skin that one. Um, we've also got one beaver that we are going to bring to get professionally tanned. We're going to get, we're going to put that up in the cabin that we'll be getting Jan in January. So. Um, we didn't know if we were gonna take videos of the animals in the traps or of course we're not gonna take the video of them being dispatched so uh, we know YouTube doesn't really like that we don't know how people feel so um, this will probably be the ending of the video uh, there'll be a second part later in the year when there's snow on the ground we'll be getting a lot more action we'll actually be able to see tracks on where these animals are, are headed so um, what we got coming up next is ice fishing video we'll be heading up to Hayward this upcoming weekend for a couple days and then we'll also be having a cabin video out in January but we'll show you kind of like what we're doing we're kind of landscaping we got to make a path clear some trees and yeah so we'll get kind of give you a recap on that when the time comes but um, if you want to go look at the video of the beaver that we caught, uh, that'll be in my Instagram story, in my bio, on like my highlight reel or whatever. So stay tuned and enjoy the ride.